Hello and welcome to a Dragon PMA tutorial. Now I'm going to quickly do a tutorial on burning data CDs without any software just directly in the operating system like you can on uh, Windows, Windows XP. Okay, so first of all I'm Dragon PMA. If I didn't mention I can't remember. I don't care if you know who I am or not as long as I tell you something interesting and you take it away and go wow wasn't that good. Anyway, um, uh, I've put in my CD and as you've seen it's not on the desktop. Why? Because I've got this window. You have inserted a blank CD. Choose an action. So you can choose an action. Um, this is a bit advanced. Choose an bit, bit. Anyway, uh, you click OK and you can tick it so every single time you insert a blank CD this action will um, commence. I'll just click OK for now and voila your blank CD is on the desktop. Untitled CD. Now there's two ways to make a data DVD. Uh, DVD CD is double clicking it and opening the CD and simply um, dragging the contents of whatever you want on your CD from one window to another. Maybe you want um, uh, multiple things, multiple windows. I just drag them on and as you can see they've got little like arrows to say that the shortcuts not actual files, you're not copying things like uh, Windows does. I don't know why it does that. It's a bit Irish but Sorry if you're Irish, I didn't mean that. I do apologise. I really do uh, apologise. But anyway, I'm not Irish. I'm from the northeast of England. And some people say that my uh, accent does sound, uh, sound Irish. But whatever, I don't care. Um, you just simply drag and drop your icons, just like so. And there we go. Let's pretend our CD has been done. And what do you do? You click burn. Now, okay. In this tutorial, it seems I feel a bit fancy and rich. I'm going to waste a blank CD. Um, it seems it'll cost about 12 pence. Uh, click burn. And you can give it a name. I'm going to call it Dragon PME Tutorial CD. Hey, that kind of rhymed, didn't it? Dragon PME Tutorial CD. And burn. And away it goes. You can see it's doing this percentage complete of uh, preparing the data. 50% prepared the data complete. 70, 80, 100. Right, now it's right in the track. And you can use this window to see how far your burning pro pro progress has gone. Now you can close this while it burns a CD. You notice your CD does turn into like a, a folder. Um, and that's because it's burning. Um, yep, yeah, right in track and we're just going to pretty much wait um, for that CD to burn. Take a while. It'll take a little while. Okay, so at the beginning I mentioned two ways. 7%, 8%, 9%, 10%. Two ways to make a DAV, uh, data CD. Now, this CD is burning. So let's just pretend I want to make um, another CD. But it's busy, so I can't put the, the blank CD in. So what do we do? Right click the desktop, new burn folder. Now these burn folders are handy um, in the way that we can take the folder and we can get things and drag them into your folder. And you can drag this into the folder and do whatever with the folder. Whoops, that went to the desktop. I'm going to control, uh, sorry, uh, Apple Z to undo what I just did. See, Apple Z undoes it. If you press it twice, it'll undo the undo, if you know what I mean. So yeah, Apple Z is quite handy. I'm going to put that straight in there. And voila, we have our second folder ready to be burned. Close that. And there it is. Just sitting waiting. And where's our burn process? 19% verified so it's burnt it to the disk and now OSX is verifying the disk to make sure it um, has burned correctly and the bar shouldn't be much longer we'll just sit and wait and I'll show you what we do next you can cancel it using the cross at any moment in time and you can minimize it to the dock at any time and voila it's finished so our box has disappeared the CD has disappeared and it reboots as if you'd inserted the CD again Dragon PME tutorial CD, double click it, and here are all the contents, not shortcuts, but the final thing. In fact, I'm going to show you it'll play by dragging this into, and there it plays. Yep. Uh, I can load your pictures. Boswell Studios, that's my friend. 
Um, and I guarantee that everything on here works. Why? Because it was verified. So, I'm going to go back to my CD2 and I want to burn this one. So, I double click it and I go to burn. Insert a blank CD. So, it's easy. You can figure it out from here. You just insert a blank CD and click the big fat burn button. Um, I hope you've learned something. Um, um, I hope I haven't spent too much money, 12 pence, making this tutorial and you better appreciate it. I'm just emptying the trash. See, I just, it's if you don't want to burn, fold it, put it in the trash, empty the trash. Um, as I was saying, I hope I haven't spent too much money because you know, you're very expensive people, 12 pence. Um, and I'm going to treasure this CD forever and ever and ever, put it on eBay and maybe someone will buy it. I doubt it, but I don't know. Um, I hope you've learned something. I hope I haven't dragged it on too much. I know it's a simple process, but sometimes people just want to be shown. Um, it's completely different to Windows XP, which is why sometimes swapping can be a nightmare. But once you know how to do it, it's easy to do it. It's with anything. If you know how to do it, it's easy. But until you're shown how to do it, sometimes you just don't have a clue. So I hope you've learned something. And if you are uh, considering buying a Mac and you're, you want any questions, please post a comment. Or if you've thought, hey, this guy, Dragon Pay Me, has convinced me to buy a Mac, please tell me. I like to see people when they buy Macs because they're making good decisions. And I will send you a comment saying, well done or something, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you very much for listening and good night.